Hello friends. We are here today at John Henry's General Store in New Market and we're celebrating March as Nutrition Month. And to do that, um, I'm here. My name is Becky, Miss Becky Kipps, and I work with Healthy Families. I'm a family support specialist and I'm also involved with children's programs at New Market Library. So I'm going to share one of my favorite books with you. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. And this is a really good book to use for National Nutrition Month because the hungry caterpillar is going to eat some very good healthy foods that help him grow. And I want you to watch and see what the caterpillar eats. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle, published by Philomel Books. Very colorful book. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a very tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through an apple. Oh, he's gonna eat an apple. He ate an apple. <laughs> On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. <laughs> but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, we don't have any plums. On Wednesday, <laughs> he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, what did he eat? Four, one, two, three, four strawberries. But he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. One, two, three, four, five. But he was still hungry. Uh-oh. That's the end of the healthy food. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, there it is, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, a lollipop, a piece of cherry pie, a piece of uh, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. I wonder why. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a little hole in the cocoon and he pushed his way out. He was a beautiful butterfly. You saw what we made. This might be a fun thing for you to do at home. Make a caterpillar face and use your play food to pretend to feed the very hungry caterpillar. All these healthy foods. I was going to make some fruit kebabs that sort of look like the hungry caterpillar and are going to make us big and strong just like he was. So we're going to cut our orange into pieces. Also our pineapple and get an adult to help you or use a handy dandy plastic knife for your banana. And then get yourself a toothpick, a kebab, a coffee stirrer, and you'll put your fruit 
in whatever pattern you want. And then when you're done with that, it's going to look like this.